Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. All right, guys, I'm here at the Corsair Intel overclocking event with George, and just maybe tell us what's going on with the leaderboard here. All right, well, we got a leaderboard uh, that's going to be tracking the guys who set the various different records or try and break the record for the day. So at the top of it, the number one prize is Super Pi 32M, uh, all the way down to you know stuff like 3D Mark uh, first Fire Strike. Um, the ASUS team here with Andre and TL actually just set our personal daily record on um, the uh, CPU overclock. They had 6.75 so far, and they got the Super Pi 1M number, which is a thousand dollar award. Uh, they got that down to 5.421, which is our current fastest speed. But you know the events have been going on for less than an hour, so we expect right. maybe some guys could break that number. Maybe these guys will break that number in a little bit. So we're pretty excited. These guys are dumping liquid nitrogen all over the place. They're you know putting Vaseline on motherboards and rubbing shop towels on things. This is dangerous and freaky stuff, and these guys are, are uh, professionals. I wouldn't practice this at home. And they were wondering at what, negative 135? Was yeah, that they were at negative 134 degrees Celsius, so. That's insane. So I've joined the rest of the team at the overclocking event, and uh, George, what is this? This is the leaderboard that shows uh, who's currently in the lead of each specific score we're doing. We're giving 11 different prizes away today, starting at 1000 bucks and going up to $5,000 for the prize, total of $20,000 in prize money. The, uh, the, most, uh, the highest prize, the grand prize, is the Super Pi 32 meg, which is to you know, see how fast the system can run a 32 megabyte Super Pi calculation, or 32 million, sorry, Super Pi calculation. Uh, for, that's a $5,000 prize. Now, the guys up there, 8-pack, uh, lead that. Right below them on the Haswell memory frequency, where they're at 3782, which is almost 3,800 uh, megahertz on the memory frequency. It was way beyond Ivy Bridge, which was around 33, 34. Uh, so those guys knocked that out of the park. And then underneath that, we're at uh, 6.9 gigahertz on the processor overclocking record, too. So those are the top three records. Um, then underneath that, you can see that uh, Andre and, and Team Asus there have basically dominated all the other stuff. Super Pi 1 million, the calculation, Pi Fast, W Prime 32, all that stuff. So tell me about the strategy. Why is it that um, Andre and Team Asus seem to be going after everything but the big prize pools up there? What, what is the deal? Like, Because th there were some stipulations in terms of what hardware you could bring or what you couldn't bring, and what's their strategy? I think, um, I mean, you'd have to ask them specifically for their strategy. My guess is that they looked at it and said, look, we know we can knock this one, we can knock this one, we can knock this one. And I said, you know, it makes more sense to take awards four through nine than to take, to, to take only one, two, and three. There was a lot of competition. There still is a lot of competition going on right now. We got about 20 minutes left uh, for the first and second and third spots. I think they said, look, I don't think there's going to be as many guys fighting here. We're going to go full bore for it. And they hit some really impressive numbers. The Pi Fast number, uh, 9.83, is really close to a world record. And on day one of the, of the Haswell launch, I mean, that's... That's incredible. This is a year and a half of stuff from Ivy Bridge, and these guys are almost breaking it in one day. So Haswell's a really impressive launch already. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, so uh, don't believe everything you heard about Haswell overclocking. So we're going to be following this up with a little bit more coverage once it's time to actually present the awards. I had something else I wanted to talk to George about because really these, uh, these overclocking events, it takes a long time to dial in an overclock. You got to do some testing on it every time you change any, any freaking thing. 
but what tends to happen is we're still 20 minutes from the end. This is where things get really exciting. Tell me about sandbagging. <laughs> uh, sandbagging is basically you, you go and you put up a number that's okay, and uh, other guys are like, well, whatever, that's fine. And a lot of guys wait till the very end to throw their numbers up because they, they kind of want to see what the other guys are really doing. So what you're going to see here, like, for example, a lot of the guys waited till the end to do the 3D stuff, the bottom ones, the benchmark for... Uh, uh, 3D Mark and Aqua Mark and stuff like that. So I'm gonna guess that those bottom four benchmarks, you're gonna see those change like every five minutes from here to the end of the competition. And I think a lot of guys did wait to hit their best possible uh, video card numbers because in the open category where they're allowed to bring whatever graphics card they want, they already know what they're capable of doing. They got their liquid nitrogen, they're ready to go. They know they can do it at home. So if they see the number here that they're actually able to beat, they're not going to beat it until they have to. If they can beat it with two minutes left, that doesn't give their competition much time to beat them. Very, very exciting. So uh, back, back with awards actually this time. <laughs> Thanks again, George. No problem. Thanks. All right, I'll try not to do this to you too many times. Thanks, George. Not a problem, actually. <laughs> Finally, award ceremony time here, guys. I'm just going to see if I can sort of cheat and just kind of chuck my mic in here and see if that works. So. I haven't asked anyone's permission to do this. I'm just gonna kinda, kinda sneak over here, just kinda subtly. Okay, so here we go. We have two competitions today. Um, one was, uh, the first was what we called the open competition, where uh, there were eight benchmarks that, that everybody could run with the hardware that they brought. And uh, impressively, uh, one team ran all eight of those benchmarks and won them all. And that's uh, Andre and TL. So if, if they could uh, step up on the stage, please. You guys, yeah. you guys actually get eight trophies. Not sure what you're gonna do with all those. Uh, I, I could take a couple of them if you want. <laughs> so they they actually need a crew of uh, ladies to carry all of their trophies for them. So congratulations to these guys. That's very impressive winning all those benchmarks. Finally, the grand prize, which is sort of a combination of CPU and memory frequency, is the super high score. And the winners of Super Pi at 4 minutes, 49.344 seconds are 8-Pack and Zolio. Yeah. 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 And I'd like to see someone try and take that check from 8-Pack. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the Corsair overclocking event here at Computex. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer vid uh, videos, and evidently Computex coverage, and overclocking, and faces.